one of the big things were two two things. Number one was bobsledding. Um, during the war years, uh, bobsledding down the Queenston Queen Street was great fun. It didn't occur all the time, but it was it was a period when <clears throat> the weather was the same almost every winter. Thirty years, if you guys can go back and check with the guys that look after climate, thirty years of almost identical winters every year, and that's when I grew up. So that yes, every winter we would find some time to bobsleigh. We would usually start at the store and bobsleigh all the way down roughly to the school, sometimes into what we call the hollow. But uh, there weren't too many big bobsleds. We had a huge one. Um, my father had built, uh, I don't know, it held at least a dozen people, it had a big steering wheel in the front. And there were others in town. Frank Shepard had one that was smaller. Um, there was a family called the Fleckneys. They had one similar to ours, but they didn't have the steering wheel. Um, my father had built this, and this other, Mr. Fleckney, had built one for his kids, uh, along with my dad. Uh, but it was a bit smaller. Uh, occasionally the adults would come out and want a bobsled too, and we were not too happy about it. We usually had a lot of fun just going down the hill side by side with these two big bobsleds and hauling kids off or running the other one into the bank on the side of the road or something. But the adults came out in a way there was no way you could do that kind of a thing. But the kids had small hand sleighs uh, as well. Just about everybody had a little sleigh that you could steer from the front. And so it was, it was a community affair. The United Church had a young people's organization, and they used to have bobsleighing parties. Uh, and I guess something afterwards in the United Church. Uh, I wasn't part of that because I was too young, but my sister belonged to it. But uh, social activities in the winter were quite common, and of course we also uh, used what we call Bright's Hill, it would be Willowbank, the hill there. And that was more for toboggans. Sleighs didn't work too well, but toboggans and, and anything you could get, a piece of cardboard, and you would and get down the, the hill. Occasionally, somebody would, if you're familiar with that, there's a, a carriage path that goes up <clears throat> the hill on an angle and uh, made a great bump, I guess you could say, or a jump. So if you were brave enough to go over that, why... Uh, and survive. It was a lot of fun. The only problem was a tree down at the bottom, a big elm tree, huge, huge elm tree. And uh, I guess they had filled in the, the dirt at the bottom of the hill sometime and had built a little stone wall around. So between the stone wall and the tree was about a well, three or four foot drop. And occasionally uh, we could never understand why people would do this, but they would end up going into this hole and hitting the tree. And uh, actually, no need for it because everybody knew it was there, but they had a few people hit it. One kid broke his leg at one time or something. But it was quite safe, other than that.